Good morning guys and welcome to day 20 of my trip through Norway, Sweden and Denmark. Waking up finally to sun again. It's a little bit chilly in the wind but that's fine. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot better throughout the day and then the days to come. So I am currently in Vesterålen in northern Norway. The plan for today is to continue north. We are doing the west side of Andøya all the way up to Andenes. And I'm thinking I'll take the ferry from there over to Senja, which is another beautiful, I think it's a half island. I don't think it's a fully island, I think it's a half island uh, in that area. Uh, so yeah, and I think I'll be camping there tonight. So yeah, that is the plan for today. Um, Fender could have used a little wash soon, but uh, hey, that's just, that's just part of the game, isn't it? All right, so without further ado, let's get this day started. Drop for a city. Look at these mountains over there, and that stunning bridge as well. Ah, glorious! So, this is Sortland. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick stop here to get some groceries because last uh, today's Monday, so it was obviously Sunday yesterday, and all Sundays, pretty much all stores in Norway are closed. Closed. So I, uh, luckily, I had some noodles still, because <laughs> I forgot to, to to buy some extra food on Saturday. So uh, I need to stop and get some supplies, and then we're heading over that bridge. Anyone of you have actually interest in seeing this, but I'm gonna show you what kind of food I get uh, when I'm out and about. All right, so I have this little dry bag right here that I usually put my food in. Now it's just coffee in there, pretty much. All right, so I got a couple of uh, baguettes or buns or whatever you call them, uh, and then something to put on them, a like cream cheese and uh, some salami I got a couple of soups for the evenings I got some dried fruits as a snack I got oatmeal for breakfast and then I got some hee <laughs> some candy I'll put that in my backpack for quick access I got some bananas I'll put one of those in my backpack as well Mm -mm -mm. I got some more fruit, fisalis. I'll have them for my lunch. I'll put them up here. Then I have a couple apples. I'm not very good at eating healthy on my trips, but I'm trying my best. And then an extra bottle of water. 
I like having the one with the, the tip on here because then I can just like drink with my helmet on. Uh, and sometimes I have this like big one liter bottle right here. But if I do cooking and stuff on a road, um, that's sometimes not enough. And I'm that's another thing I'm really, really bad at when I'm on the road. It's drinking enough. I think I'm like in a state of constant little bit dehydration because I keep forgetting to to drink. Uh, and in the evenings when I'm back uh, at the like at the camp spot and actually like oh shit I didn't drink a lot today. I don't want to chug water right before bedtime because who want to get up in the middle of the night from your tent and get out of your sleeping bag in like 12, 13 degrees to go to the toilet? Not me. Right, so now I'm going to do a quick stop over to that stop over there because um, I really want to get a spare microphone for my helmet just in case. And I know they used to have one that um, I got advice that actually works quite well, but I think they stopped selling it. So there's just a few stores that still has it in stock. I don't know if this one does it. Oh, I left my key in here. Gosh. That happens from time to time, unfortunately, and that is one of the reasons why uh, traveling in other countries in Europe, for my sake, is I don't think it's like the best idea because I'm so fucking naive and uh, messy head. I'm not saying that like your know, stuff wouldn't be stolen in Norway because that could easily happen, but I guess there's a bigger chance in other countries. All the warnings. Ooh. So I finally got um, in touch or my MB Racing in Savanger, who is the shop who actually own this bike, kind of through Husqvarna, since I'm Husqvarna's ambassador this year. Uh, they contacted a workshop in Tromsø, not very far from here. So as soon as I get there, I'll, uh, I'll stop by them and get some help to figure out what's going on with the ABS and traction control and electronics on his bike because something's going on all right now I'll quickly stop by here to see if I can find that microphone fingers crossed all right they didn't have the microphone but that's that's all right I think there's only like five left in Norway it would have been so cool if they had it at a work because it only costs like 3 euros. The one I have now costs like 10 euros I think. It's still a pretty cheap one compared to what I used on my other camera. But there's just nothing that works with this flipping DJI Osmo Action 3. It's been a rough time trying to find good audio. But this is the best I've come up with so far. And luckily it's a cheap solution. I just need to order more from China. <laughs> Stunning day, absolutely stunning day. turn around because there was a really nice little restaurant cafe place just a kilometer back here and they had benches outside so maybe I can just get a coffee and eat my lunch on one of their benches here we are mm, uh, yeah free lift center I think that translates to wildlife wildlife center on Mondays. Just my luck, but maybe I can borrow one of their benches still. Hold on. 
there. Yeah, I'm sure I can. If I just have enough speed, I could take off and just fly away. I don't think I'm going to though. <laughs> now we get the option to ride uh, on two different sides of the island. I'm choosing the west side, that's also a national tourist road because of its unique um, nature and scenery. Home to approximately 4,500 residents, Andøya is Norway's 10th largest island. Its landscape holds great contrast with a rugged mountainous south separated from the north by Tjernesvågen Bay. Here you'll find Kvass Tinden, Anna's tallest peak soaring to 705 meters above sea level. Visitors can explore some of Norway's most stunning beaches and experience the midnight sun during summer and northern lights during the winter. The rich marine life includes seals, whales and majestic eagles often seen from the roadside. Anna is not all about nature. You also find a prominent player in the global space community here, Omnia Space. Here they operate a research rocket and missile launch base. They collaborate with esteemed organizations like the European Space Agency and NASA, making this island a hub for geophysical observations and space-related education. expecting like a dragon or something to come out of these mountains. So cool. There's a lot of like uh, sp space things here. Uh, so there's a lot of signs saying that uh, you can't film and stuff in the areas. And uh, so yeah, you can see there's an entire tip here. There's no... I can't fly my drone here. But uh, anyway, it's nice to admire it from the ground as well.
have arrived at Andenes, all the way to the tip of Anaya. Uh, and my ferry doesn't leave in another one and a half hours, so I think I'll find a place to sit down and have a coffee or something. Oh crap, the key. Uh, at least once per day. Pretty long ride. I think it's a two hour ferry ride, so I'm thinking I probably have to strap it. Okay, so what I usually do oh, those are big. This one is dry. Yep. I usually take one end around like so. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? Yeah, it is. I think this is actually enough, but I'm gonna do one more on the other side. I hope you can hear me over all the noise. I'm always so grateful to come down on the car deck to discover that my bike is in fact still standing. <laughs> it was quite rough sea over the, the first part. The last hour was pretty chill, but the first part I was like, holy crap, my bike might fall over. But uh, yeah, it's been, uh, yeah, no problem, good. Holy crap, there's a lot of people waiting for the ferry going the other way. They are not gonna make it tonight. I think the ferry going now is the last one tonight. So there will be people sleeping here tonight. Oh my god, it just stretches all the way back here. What? I didn't think Senya was that popular yet for tourists, but I guess I was wrong. I'm gonna pull over here and let people pass and just wait a little bit and check out if I can find a camping etc because I don't want to be riding in the middle of this gone voyage. Welcome to Senja, a captivating island municipality in northern Norway often referred to as Norway in miniature. With a population of almost 15,000, Senja ranks as the fourth most populous in Finnmark County. Senja's breathtaking landscapes are a testament to its diverse and wild beauty. Shaped by ice ages, it features rugged alpine terrain with sharp peaks, deep fjords and steep cliffs. The island excels in fishing, aquaculture and fish processing, making it one of Norway's largest seafood producing municipalities.
Currently I'm arriving at the camping I'll be staying at tonight, Skalam Camping. I already booked a um, spot for my tent because there was actually online booking, that's pretty rare. And it's the most expensive one so far, 370 kroners, but that's at least that's included, um, here we are, included electricity. Here we are. Where are the tent spots though? It's crowded for sure. I had a shower and some food and I'm back with my map to show you where I uh, went today. For information it's right now about 11 o'clock in the evening uh, and about I'd say probably like 15 degrees outside. Really comfortable actually. Um, so my route today, last night I slept in Vesterolen, about right here. I backtracked this way. Then went into Sortan, which is right on the tip there. Uh, worked my way up here, and this is where I did the west side of Anneya instead of... This is kind of the main road, but um, this side is supposedly better. And I mean, I can't argue, it's, uh, it's absolutely fantastically beautiful. Then I took the two-hour ferry across here, arrived in Grillefjord and made my way up to Skarland. And right now I'm on Skarland camping on Senja. The plan for tomorrow is to discover more of uh, Senja. I'll probably do some roads around here. Um, then I'm not really sure if I'll cross in here and go this way up to Tromsø or if I'll cross over here and go to Tromsø and uh, perhaps somewhere up here. Because I've got... I now have... Uh, it's uh, Monday today and I don't have to be in Tromsø before Thursday actually because that's when I'm uh, my bike is going to the workshop to uh, check that ABS stuff that's going on and also my boyfriend is arriving for the weekend so we'll spend Thursday to Sunday being tourists in uh, Tromsø. I've actually never been there so that's gonna be fun. Yeah today was a really really good day finally some sun again and some decent temperatures. Uh, it's supposed to keep up like this for the rest of the week actually, so that's nice. It'll be exciting to see if it actually does. Uh, tomorrow also I have to <laughs> go hunting for a new sleeping mat because this one I've patched it up three times the last two weeks and now again it's it got a puncture somewhere. I don't know how it happens because the punctures are not like you'd expect it to be like on the high points kind of so when I sit down like if I sit on some gravel or something it would be a hole but no it's like in the seams in here but on the other side so I don't know if it's just worn out or what it is it's only one years old um, so I'd expect it to last quite a bit longer and it's expensive as shit because it's one of those that supposed to it has an R value of 4.1 or 2 I think so it's it keeps you nice and warm but yeah i'll see if i can just find a cheap one or something tomorrow as long as it packs down nice and light and small that's really all that matters right now yeah also i've been transferring files from one of my sd cards i usually run 128 gigabytes sd cards uh, in all my gear really except my drone i think that is 256 gigabytes and it takes about for my helmet camera, it takes about a week to fill up 128 gigabytes uh, and to transfer it to the computer it takes about two hours. So I also have, um, I actually transfer it directly to a little uh, hard drive, SSD drive that I got with me, uh, which is one terabyte, ter ter terabyte, terabyte big. 
really nice and small. It's a Samsung Shield something, supposed to be really nice and durable. So yeah, that's what I've been up to and now it's time to go to bed and get some sleep. First I'll inflate my sleeping mat for a third time this evening. <laughs> uh, Alright, anyway. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you liked it. Um, it was a really enjoyable day, so I hope you enjoyed this too. And I hope I'll see you again in the next. Bye.